Good morning, Wolfpack. Good afternoon, Wolfpack. My name is Ryan Mejia. And I'm Richard Pickett. Today is Wednesday, May 1st, and we're here with your afternoon announcements. Starting off with the Advanced Children's Theater class, they will be presenting their production of Finding Nemo Jr. So let's check that out. All right, Nemo, it's your first day of school. We're ready to learn, to get some knowledge. Woohoo! shown in the Black Box Theater this Friday, May 3rd at 7 p.m. and May 4th at 4 and 7 p.m. So if it interests you, please swim on over and help us find Nemo. Financial aid uh, deadline is approaching. Complete your financial aid application by tomorrow, May 2nd, to get the most state aid. You will also need to create a WebGrams for Student account to manage and secure your state aid. If you have any problems with completing the application, check in with your counselor or see Ms. M in the Career Center. Mm, calling all football players. Today, May 1st through May 30th, we'll be having spring football practices. Practices will be held Monday through Thursday after school on the football field from 3.45 to 6.45 p.m. Students in 9th through 11th grade are expected to show up, and Mr. Billing says to bring a good attitude. Let's start this season off with the Bang Wolf Pack. Speaking of so sports, let's pass it on over to Ethan and Kaiden. Hey there, Wolf Pack. I'm Kaiden Yang. And I'm Ethan Dixon. And this is your sports update. Starting off with boys vo uh, volleyball team, their season has ended with a record of 2-11. Congrats to Andrew Zhao and Yurvaj Bar on making the golf playoffs. Boys baseball are at their final stretch against Shelton today and on Friday at 4 p.m. In other sports news, the NFL draft has officially ended last week with Caleb Williams taking first overall by the Bears, which has come, now, which has come no surprise. But something that is surprising is that Leatu Luta, who is Sacramento native, who went to Jesuit high school, he was selected 15th overall by the Indianapolis Colts. The 2024 playoffs, NBA playoffs are now set. The Boston Celtics, New York Knicks, Milwaukee Bucks, and its Cleveland Cavaliers in the first four seasons of the Eastern Conference, and the Orlando Magic and Indiana Pacers taking fifth and sixth. In the Western Confer uh, Conference, the Oklahoma City Thunder clinched the number one seed with the Denver Nuggets and Minnesota Timberwolves taking second and third. The LA Clippers and Dallas Mavericks facing off in the number four versus number five matchup, and the Phoenix Suns clinching the sixth spot. Well, well that'll be all from us, uh, Wolf uh, that'll be all from us. He's Ethan. And he's Kaiden. Let's, Let's go, go back, back to, to the, the anchors. anchors. Thanks for the update, guys. Floyd Hakalau is tomorrow, May 2nd, from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. in the main gym. Their students will have performances, so please invite your family and friends. Pre-sale tickets are $5 and can be purchased during both lunches. Let's have some fun. May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and our school is participating in the efforts of, to raise awareness of this important issue. Mental health is an essential component of overall health and well-being, and it's important for us to recognize it as such. Come join on in activities in the quad today during both lunches. Now, let's check out entertainment with Mara and Lorenzo. Good afternoon, Wolfpack. My name is Lorenzo Carlos. And I'm Mara Schrantz. Welcome back to your entertainment update. In movie news, Warner Brothers has announced a new Matrix in the works. The iconic screenwriter, Drew Goddard, will be the man who takes care of the behind-the-scenes production. The new movie, starring Keanu Reeves, Carrie Ann Moss, Jonathan Groff, and more, currently does not have a set re release date. The Matrix 5 will retain themes found in previous iterations while being set in the fantasy world. Staying consistent with the series. Can't wait to see how deep the rabbit hole goes. 
If you're into historical drama, then FX's adaptation miniseries Shogun is for you. Based off of the 1975 novel made by James Clavell, the series is set in Japan's pre-Edo period in 1600, where Lord Yoshi Toronaga fights for his life as his enemies of the Council of Regents unite against him when a mysterious European ship is found marooned in a uh, nearby fishing village. Starring Hir Hiroyuki Sanada as Lord Yoshi Toronaga, Cosmo Jarvis as John Blackthorne, and created by Lake Rachel Kanodo and Justin Marks. The series follows a harrowing tale of conflict. This adaptation reinvents the novel's rich text and dialogue very well and presents itself as an outstanding and engaging drama. Make sure to check it out, streaming now on Hulu. Though in gaming news, the Walt Disney Company and Epic Games are collaborating in an all-new games and entertainment universe, which is expected to expand more throughout this collab. Disney invested $1.5 billion to acquire an equity stake in Epic Games alongside the multi-year project. This new universe will offer multiple opportunities for consumers to play, watch, shop, and engage with content, characters, and stories from Disney. Players and fans will be able to create their own stories and experiences to express in ways they love. Well, thanks for tuning in. She's Mara. He's Lorenzo. Let's, and let's go, go back, back to, to the anchors. anchors. Sounds cool. Well, that's all we, have, we got for you today, Wolfpack. Have a great rest of your day. I'm Richard Pickett. And now I'm Ryan Mejia. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National May Day, Wolfpack. Wolfpack.